Man, as a Louisville fan, it was so hard trying to get tickets to the Louisville Kentucky game. I know it happens every year, but it's so hard to get tickets. It should not be that hard to get a ticket to support your team and be a true fan. And with game time, that problem is no longer an issue. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fastest, easy way to get your tickets to the next big event and the price is guaranteed. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. So download the game time at make account, use promo code club520 and get $20 off. Sign up. And while you at it, go ahead and use the promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase on the app. Don't forget, use CLUB520 for the promo code. You get that $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Subscribe to our YouTube, CLUB520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Will. Same gang with me. To my left, my dog, Bishop B. He and out the prillies. How you what, Nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's pie, baby. Hey, man, we're bringing out the fine jar, man. You don't wear your work shoes to work, man. I know. You've been flexing on the, on the YouTube community, I see. My bad. I had them on the ATL, so it's straight, bro. We good. Brought it back. Respect. Respect. To my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young T. How you what, man? I'm back home, man. Happy to be back. Uh, shit. You know, these was about to though. These pennies, I don't even know when these came out. What, these, what year was these? I ain't do my research. I got to do my homework. Damn. Uh, the penny twos would have been 96, 97. Yeah, Mike, I am I? My, I is that too, homework. too far off? It's really close. No. I feel like it's 96. They about it, though, though. What's up? Outside of the plazas, okay. them the hardest ones, bro. And the penny. these are what? They are. I would. They are. What? They're better than the phone posits, if you ask me. I'm taking penny ones next to phone posits. Oh no! Uh, and I love the penny ones, but those are that. different. Them is that these black with that three M on that shoe is crazy. Yeah, these are, that's a I fact. Guess. These are. I, I never own a pair of penny twos. Damn, not a fan. The penny ones are heat though. They just all all the cold ones got the white bottom. And you know, once you wear them bitches, they dimmer camouflage. The penny right? ones for like my heel, but oh, like my heel about to. Yeah, they so, so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know anybody who him hooping that shoe is crazy. Crazy, because it's like my heel about to come out the shoe when I'm just walking around. That's like looking back at what niggas really used to hoop in. Like, how was niggas really hooping in chucks and oh, never man. had, like, catastrophic injuries? That shit's crazy Oh, they did. Them motherfuckers used to only play, like, eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how long them old niggas' careers. That shit, caught up, but like... that shit just caught up with them later, though, in life. Yeah. Like, all them niggas broken hits. down. Yeah, yeah, broken down, for sure. Yeah, but that's back when them niggas, like, they always saw Nate Thurman, niggas who was 25 but looked 36. Yeah. Niggas hairlines back in the ABA, ABA days was crazy. Niggas was 23. Ball. They look so, I wonder what, like, why they look so old. Wasn't it just the hairline? Because they them faces had, look old, bro. Niggas had jobs at 11. <laughs> <laughs> niggas worked at the factory and clocked out and went to hoop niggas in the ABA. Niggas was hitting the mill. Hell For God. sure. It's crazy, bro. They definitely had jobs while they hooped in the NBA. Damn. <laughs> that's what that's something to remind me of uh, semi-pro. That nigga Coffee Brown had to leave the, <laughs> the grocery store to go hoop. That's crazy. That's crazy. Insane. Andre 2000 don't get spoken on enough. At least he was a character who got buckets. Because you look at him and you look at Common and Just Right, and that still pisses me off. Give me Just Right over that. You, over semi-pro. You crazy. Just Right had to be one of the weakest basketball movies I've ever seen. Queen yeah. Latifah saved that movie. Just just right is a way better film than semi-pro. That Mustang is fired though they had in there. It is fire. But yeah. <laughs> semi pros. Jackie Moon, bro, the owner in the power for it, that's elite. He was on his Magic Johnson shit, but them acting like common killing niggas in the league was crazy. <laughs> Cause it was common. Yeah. Like, like hey man. Nah, <laughs> but see, a nigga like Cameron couldn't have played that part. Like you had to put a nigga like Common in there. You want a camera on to be just right? I did, but I know Cam ain't gonna date Queen Latifah. That's out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, that no. was out of pocket for him <laughs> leaving uh, what's your, uh, Robert Thicke old joint. Oh, yeah. Queen Latifah. Like, stop playing. Bro, <laughs> who's the better person? That's what he chose, bro. The better person. That, nah, I never <laughs> choose those. <laughs> that very rarely Never happens. choose a better person. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's a good question. So, who you choosing in that situation? Uh, I'm staying home. Yeah, can't no bitch be built like me, and I'm cracking her. <laughs> give me the, give me the bad, <laughs> the bad person all day. 
That's dead. <laughs> we, can, we can fix bad behaviors. There's some things we can't fix. Well, motherfucker got that vacuum now. Motherfucker put Queen Latifah in that vacuum. I'm she probably not. get right. I mean, I've seen Chloe's transformation, so I guess anything is possible. Yeah, Queen Latifah, but you know, she hoop on the other side of the court. So who had a better transfer? Never mind. Never mind. Oh, between them two? Between who? I was going to say Chloe, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to disrespect nobody. <laughs> Keep this thing out of there. <laughs> And who? I'm I, 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 I know people, bro. Uh, uh, respect. Respect. That. respect. Leave that out of there. Hey, man. Big three captain. You picking up Kayla Clark? Shit, if she was available. <laughs> yeah. Shit, we going to be famous in the motherfucker. Podcast going to be booming. Now, podcast, talk about you know. deals. What? Man, Kayla Clark, boy, I love her to get on the fever and come on 520. We your biggest fans. Yeah. I, got, I was almost tired of you, but I'm back. I'm number one fan now. Yeah. Hey, man, I was dying when they was mad. I was like, Ice Cube, why you only offer her? For the very obvious reasons. I don't. I hate when everybody acts so arms about women's basketball when the stupidest times. Why did he get that money to the WBA? Because he don't want a fucking team. He owns his own league. Yeah. Why would he get a, a WBA team if he owns a league? Is that their salary? What? Five M's? Hell no. Wow, that... Kevin no, Clark, I'm saying, could he, could he, no, could he pay for the fever with that five? Oh, uh, he probably could pay for the whole roster. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn near. Yeah. Pay for the year. That's Damn what I'm man. asking. Yeah, but they don't play. Oh, okay. But they don't play in his league. Like, yeah. that's, that's yeah. what I don't understand why everybody's acting so abhorrent. Why is it only her? You didn't offer Andrew Reese. Because Andrew, Andrew Reese is not, Andrew Reese not one of She's them. not worth $5 million. Yeah. No offense, but Caitlin Clark is worth $5 million. She's bringing the entire state of Iowa with her every single game. She's he bringing, would make that money back. She's bringing the whole country. Come on, bro. You know Let's, how many people going to just show up for Caitlin Clark? Like Angel Reese, she going to get O-block. <laughs> Post road. <laughs> nah, real talk. One side. Yeah. She getting the whole state. He fuck around and offer Juju that same bag, too. And listen... Juju ain't gonna bring the same love. She cold as Caitlyn Clark. She but better, she but she ain't. That, and you know what? Thank you for saying that. Because that's the most important thing about this that people are missing. Marketing. Dog, it's what she brings to the table. She's a phenom. We didn't say she's the best ever, but what yeah. she brings to the table, nobody else can do that right now. Nah. And it's okay to just be okay to admit that. They hate Caitlyn Clark. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the shit she, slander she get on Twitter is crazy. Crazy. And she don't even be saying shit. She I'm, just be killing. I like her even more now because I love when people hate on people and they keep killing. Yeah. yeah. She's an average white girl, bro. There ain't no disrespect for her. She probably hoop and go to the crib. Ain't no telling. She probably got a joker lifestyle, bro. Damn. She ain't really in the media or nothing like that. Yeah, it's kind of You kind of out of pocket for talking shit to her because she ain't as turned up as Angel Reese and mm-hmm. Like. She yeah. talks shit though when she hooped though. No, because that's in between the lines. But yeah. I'm saying you ain't really nothing. Yeah. yeah Joker goes she... like, man, you can't fucking guard me. Like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But when she go home and <laughs> she, oh, no. she probably watching growing pains. No, nah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> With her bitch next to her. Yeah, what, they what's their favorite show? <laughs> What's the they probably watch Breaking Love. Bad? <laughs> they probably Breaking Bad. Def, she watching Ozark when she goes to the crib. Yeah, yeah, sure. watching Love is Blind. Hey, I would have picked you behind the wall. Or Orange is the what? New <laughs> Black. <laughs> <laughs> Why they watching that, bro? Because they can relate. <laughs> Shout out to K. Shout out to KC though. For Shout sure. out to Kaylin Clark, man. <laughs> Her name starts with a C, by the way. I was like, I was like, I was like, I thought it was Kaylin. I was like, I was like, I was like I was it is. Is it just with a C? No, 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 but my little cousin's name is Kaylin. It's okay. Kaylin. My man, double C, my man. Shout out to Kaylin. My man, double cup. My fault. <laughs> oh, he said Breaking Bad, bro. That's funny. Orange is the new black is crazy, but. That is crazy. Yeah. That is funny. Hey, man, speaking of Orange and New Black, <laughs> Diddy gonna be in a new season. Because, boy, <laughs> when they catch his ass, it is what's over. That, what's that show going to be called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so they actually showed that he was with the feds at the airport. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we have footage of him with the feds at the airport. Allegedly, his plane left, but he's still here. Oh, yeah, he put he sent the hose on that way. Allegedly. He had to secure the package, but... Because that's what you said, his drug mule. Is Why they still. say uh, Young Miami had pink coke? You be watching World Star. Pink coat with the 
Nah. Pink Coochie. No, that's <laughs> that was the headline of the World Star. It was. Uh, <laughs> they had cocaine. That's part of that party together. pack, though. Yeah, that's yeah, part of that party pack. That, boy. And I said on, you know, the last pod, like, protect young Miami, but, damn, we can't protect you if you on that, though. If you help running the ring, that's crazy. But, nah, I'm, I mean, I hope. Here's my, oh, well, obviously, yeah, hopefully I they're hope not doing not that. in the mix. Yeah. But them being scandalous is what they've always rapped and talked about. Yeah. yeah this shit. is not surprising to see this nah, on paperwork. Acta was made for moments like this. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like, I feel a way, like, if they get, if he get in trouble for fucking with a couple girls that he just, Cash out, like yeah. I show love. I want them to be with me. I want to fuck with them. I just pay them. Now, if they doing some other shit with getting other people and doing yeah. all that shit, then all right, fuck them. But yo, listen, shout out to him. Wait till Torrey talked about. He put one of his cousins on as an intern with him, and he, the internship ended with it. They didn't want to go to bed with him. When the old interns talk, that's gonna be the end of it. When we get them stories about all the offices he was working at and stuff, that's what was going to really but, fuck everything up. But if he asked you and you say no and he let you go, is that really doing anything wrong? Yes. Nah. <laughs> you cannot do that. Why? <laughs> My internship cannot be based on me busting it open. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, it, it, that's I, a term. That's I, a term. I don't know. Is it really wrong? Yeah, HR term. Yeah. Yeah, but nigga... <laughs> Sexual harassment. Nigga, I ain't really hire you as an intern. You, your cousin just asked if he could follow me around, motherfucker. You're right. <laughs> That's I true. ain't signed no paperwork. Damn, oh. man. So what about the... I wouldn't even want to sign no paperwork we did, what a, honestly. What about the Syracuse lashing from 18 to 20, the killer, the white boy? <laughs> he had his own NIL. <laughs> oh, God. My boy averaged six points. Nah, he ain't averaged a point, did he? Six perks. <laughs> <laughs> he was a demon on campus. <laughs> we not even... We hey, don't bus. condone... Hey, bust. Tap me in. <laughs> We Sarah not even condoning selling Sarah, drugs Sarah or nothing. Legend. What was he on? But for him to be Diddy's main source is fire. Did you see the fucking mug shot? Nah. I said Breaking Bad yeah. for real. Look at this nigga. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. Oh, man, God. Was trapping. <laughs> he trapping, bro. Hey, he was in Syracuse with Who the else was Who else was the Syracuse? Demon <laughs> Dorf, tap in. Zaire. <laughs> Like, yo, oh my What's God. up, bro? You hold out. Tim, let me find out. Mellow, no party packs. <laughs> let me find out when y'all crossed to become a Q. Oh boy was sliding on y'all with the pack. <laughs> he was at the probate. <laughs> Mellow, tap in. I know he wasn't the plug. Damn, that is crazy. I'm like, how are all the people in the fucking world <laughs> and you tapping in with a fucking college athlete from Q. Come on, Melo. That got to be a part of the lineage, bro. Man, he got to be with the mob, That nigga bro. found Matthew Deladova in Syracuse <laughs> and say, hey, let's get this <laughs> Matt, money. tap in. You know what kind Brandon of bread Trish. he was getting, <laughs> bro? Tap in. Who else I know from Syracuse? <laughs> School <laughs> Jardine. <laughs> tap in. Paul. Tell me it ain't so. Oh, Paul, come on. We, we see your vlogs. You got to discuss this. They oh, yeah, for sure. alum. Yeah, damn, shout out to, damn. Damn, Johnny, I know it ain't go down like that. I think Greg Paulus got a crack in. <laughs> <laughs> out to Sir. Lee. Shout out to Sir Bayham. Oh, uh, we, uh, we know Bayham was involved yeah. for sure. Bayham, you are a cocaine cowboy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, man. Hey, man. Diddy is a sick nigga. The more we find out, shit just get crazy and crazy. Crazy. Man. This story is wild, but. The fucking kids, man. I'm still praying for them kids. Get well, so y'all. Better yeah. days on the way. Without a ball, it's just a court. Without your spirit, it's only a game. So together with the fans, we bring our best. Hennessy is excited to celebrate the intersection of basketball with art, music, and fashion. Each of these elements of culture represent ways that fans, players, supporters pay homage to the game, both on and off the court. Hennessy and Mitchell and us have come together for the ultimate drop, a limited edition collection to mark their shared love for basketball culture and to celebrate Hennessy's continued partnership with the league. The exclusive collection will have a limited drop available for both in retail and online and will be featured on the Hennessy Arena Tour, making stops in San Francisco, Saturday, March 9th, Dallas, Sunday, March 17th, Atlanta, Saturday, March 30th. Come see Club 520 Podcast taped live in each city. For your next pregame, let's share a twist on the classic, the Hennessy Margarita. A squeeze of fresh lime juice. And a bit of agave syrup. Top it off with some ice in the salsa rim. Mix it, shake it, pour. And enjoy the spirit of the NBA. Hennessy. Without your spirit, it's only a game. 21 and over only. Please drink responsibly. Hey, Man. speaking of get well soon, Vince Young, please get well soon. <laughs> Vince was in the bar, you know what I'm saying, trying to break up some shit. End up catching one to the dome, man. I ain't see the clip. Did the motherfucker hit him with a bottle? 
Nah, no. one of them was happening. It felt like a bottom. Okay. I'm sure it did, because that nigga crumble. You know, Vince ain't no little nigga. Yeah. He's 6'5". Yo, yeah, he, it was all 6'5", laid out this way. <laughs> so he's like a rug. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> not, not that Vince Young got is insane. Yeah, because bro. what you Vince doing, Young mannequin on the ground is crazy. Yeah, bro. what you doing, fam? Yeah, that was crazy when I seen that, man. Mm -hmm. Damn, Vince Young. Reggie, that would never happen to Reggie Bush. <laughs> Get well, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he can't have the Heisman. <laughs> Reggie would never get laid out. The real Heisman, <laughs> Vince Young. No, nah. you was a real Heisman. No, he no, wasn't. No, I don't no, like that either. And Vince Young is one of the coldest college QBs of all time. It's all respect. That was not his fucking Heisman, man. Vince I hate Young. that. You the real Heisman. Disrespectful. Don't worry Crazy. about that. Karma's a motherfucker. Hey, Mike got to clean his glasses, y'all. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. Joe Cameron today? <laughs> yeah. He ain't trying to get his money. <laughs> Turn I, up. All that booty juice for those Whoa, photo shoots today. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, when well, you had Pico, that was crazy that day. Move the fuck off. Oh. <laughs> I ain't had no damn Pico. Oh, my fault. Oh, wow. That's the way MD. Oh, wow. I told you, you can't put your thumb in there and rub your eyes. Crazy. The real left eye. <laughs> no chili. <laughs> I'm still common comfort too. <laughs> oh, that nigga, Pico and COVID. <laughs> Damn, Glenn Davis. <laughs> that bitch was nasty. That's fucked up. Shout out to Glenn Davis. Shout out to Glenn for saying he was part of the porn shoot. So I don't know. Him and Mike. Oh, they collapsed. That's why he couldn't do the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I see it. I ain't yeah, do the math beforehand. Mm. He done passed the COVID on to my nigga. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, man. Speaking of crazy, <laughs> Draymond made this nigga Steph cry. <laughs> Oh, man. He has to get at least 12 black forces <laughs> for that, bro. You ruined Steph Curry's day, bro. You were a bad person. Steph crying was... The fact that people love Steph Curry so much that they was, like, writing in the comments when I read them, like, we just got to get Steph some help, man. I was like, what the fuck? He is the richest motherfucking NBA. Y'all motherfuckers are really here and compassionate about this nigga? Oh, hell no. Nah. This is crazy. Hey, man. The nigga is 39. He is, he is just <laughs> fine. Man, he was fed up, though. Nah, that is. That's crazy, though. Hey, that, Draymond getting ejected from a game in six minutes is crazy. It is. What's the what's the end game for that? Because I know, we obviously, we know that shit's dead after this year. Like, it has to be dead. You think they'll cut him? Cut? No. No, nah, he got a lot of value still. Cut is crazy, but they going to have to go in a different direction because they, they just not winning. Yeah. So, they probably going to let him and Clay go. Start and just rebuild and ask Steph, does this, do he want to leave? Give yeah. Steph mm. the choice. Do he want to, like, go? Steph probably going to say no. But you never know. He might want to go to Charlotte. Him and his brother, dad, survive. Listen, you put Steph Curry on that Charlotte Hornets team, we going to get a different Steph. <laughs> That's what are you going to be doing? Oh. Divorce coming soon? I agree. That's say. The family's going to still be in Golden State. <laughs> he will be in Charlotte. <laughs> the vibes. Time back vibes. in, bro. You put LaMelo and Steph together? Oh, this niggas is about to go Rice crazy. And bandits. Best backcourt in the league. Hey, Steph going to get a chain day one. Yeah, God bless. Nah, I think Steph going to stay, but get rid of everybody else. I love Clay. Stand up for Clay all the time for sure, but. I think Clay will stay before. <clears throat> before Dre? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dre, it's time. Just go somewhere else, bro. Help another team. Because you still got some shit in the tank, Paul. Nah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can help another team for yeah, sure, you're bro. still quality, for sure. my nigga. It's, just, it's still Dre. They probably just over the... He just ran his course. Yeah. yeah. It happens in the league, but Draymond, I hate to see him break up, but... He can go to a different team that's ready to win. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad to see him in L.A. with, with Brian, A.D., I think he probably pushed. Oh that my god, bro. they would be clowning. But he beat a five. Let AD play the four, and they just kind of rock out. Brian, they wouldn't be bad, man. He pushing that. I think he's trying to get to LA. That'd be dope, though. And honestly, how many times do we see players stay in a whole organization their whole career? Nah, that's, that's, that's just crazy. All happen. three of them for that to happen. At some point, it had to happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. We just hate to see it happen like this. But Draymond is wild enough. And this shit how long? Up. How long they been good? Ten years, at least. This uh, Draymond got to be at least like year eleven, maybe. Yeah, he was the last one that came. Yeah, there, right? yeah, so yeah, probably at least 11. at least ten years. Yeah, ten year plus for sure. Had a good run. Yeah, sure. bro, this is not the Spurs, bro. That, that shit don't happen nowhere else. Yeah, but uh, hey, <clears throat> Kelly Oubre is crazy as hell for cussing at all the refs like that. Man, that was funny as shit. What Lou Williams said that was twenty five k a bitch. I was crying. <sighs> He got, he got fouled, though, bro. 
Bro, but he called that ref. He said, you a bitch, you a bitch, your mama a bitch. Bro, why is my mama a bitch? Because she is, bro. <laughs> Call the foul, bro. Do your job, bro. But, bro. He, Do your job, bro. You, he, he probably lost 100 grand for it. Fine, right, bro. Your mama's still a bitch, bro. <laughs> Call it foul, bro. Do your job, bro. <laughs> These refs, bro. Like, and Kelly O'Bray, he's straight. And I know, don't nobody want to lose 100K. I get that, but... These refs, bro, are getting away with bloody murder, bro. All that apologizing shit after the game, bro, is not cool. It's happening too consistently. I'm nothing. Hey, man. But, nigga, you going, you call them a bitch. They never, these refs ain't going nowhere. For the rest of his career, them three refs is not going to fuck with him. So when he get go to the basket and get fouled, he's not going to get the calls, bro. That sucks, bro. That's unfortunate. You can't change the call. You That's can't. Unfortunate, you might as well, like, why? It's a game, bro, at the end of the day. You can play in the game. You trying to win. You I got text in my day. For I was about sure. to say, nigga. For sure. But you, I'm just saying, like, you ain't changing the call, but to like fuck up your relationship with them refs for the rest of the, your career. Like, I fucked up my relationship with uh, what's the one that be cheating CP all the time? Um, damn. Um, uh, fuck. His name Foster. Scott Foster. Scott Foster. I I didn't like him either. What you say to Scott, man? Call motherfucking foul hoe ass nigga. <laughs> You got a tech. And that killed you for the rest of your career with he, him? Every time I seen him, he ain't call shit. I was like, damn, he fucked me up. I ain't gonna lie, one ref, though. Some motherfucker with the big-ass eyebrows. Uh, Tony Brothers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said with the eyebrows. Man, so the nigga was trying to be cool. I don't like him either. He was trying to be cool. And I was a young, I was a young guy. My mama, we playing at the Pacers on the Hawks. My mama and my aunt Nisi was sitting courtside. And, you know, they had my jersey. You know, they cheering and shit every time I came in the game, whatever. I was young. I was probably my first, second year. Maybe my second year. Right. And he, like, pulled me to the side. He was like, man, who them hoes? I lost it. The oh, f- I, I went my crazy. God. And he was, like, apologizing. I was like, nigga, that's my mama. You, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to start going crazy. And he, like, kept apologizing. Like, kept apologizing. Like, nah, nah, nah. But if you know him, he be trying to be, like, cool. Yeah. So, like, he be like, ah, oh, y'all motherfuckers ain't doing nothing tonight. Try to be that kind of person. And then... He that's turn a into, crazy story. Yeah, man. then he had turned into a hoe. Like, <laughs> in the middle of the game, like, that's why I want to see people. Like, I called him a TikToker, and he texted him. Like, he would do shit like that. You, he'd be trying to be cool with you. be like, ah, oh, look at that big booty girl over there. And then when you be like, hey, nigga, call my fucking fuck. Don't call me a nigga. And you just like, nigga, you, like, you know what I mean? He on that. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't, I don't, I ain't Damn, fuck with him either. He, that's crazy, bro. He was a weirdo. When he said that shit, I went so crazy, bro. I know you was like, I wanted, to, right, I wanted no. to like slap him. I was like, I'll slap the shit out. I said that I would slap the shit out you, bro. He was just like, no, 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 no. That mean anything. You're like, nah, nah, you trying to be too funny. Yeah, you, you, you ain't know. Way like, too I'll far. slap the shit out you. Like, yeah. And, but that was funny. I mean, not funny, but I was shitty, though. And I told them niggas, I got in the locker room. I said, like, this nigga said, like, y'all report it to the league. Report it to the league. You know, niggas hate him. Report to the league. Report to the league. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy. And the fucked up part about it is not in Draymond's case, even though he, I mean, granted, I get it, but I do feel like a lot of times the ref kind of have too much power in these games. They do, bro. Like, sometimes, like you said, like, him calling him a TikToker, yeah. that's not a technical foul, bro. Nah. I don't care if I don't like you, you don't like me. Calling you a TikToker is not a technical that's foul, crazy. bro. Nah. That's a hell of a fine. Nah, you you really <laughs> calling me a dancing ass nigga, bro. I'm tight. <laughs> bro, compared to what the other shit they be saying. You calling me a dancing ass nigga, I'm tight. Bro, th- th- listen. You have heard some of the craziest shit how they talk to Russ, bro. That is light compared to what niggas nah, be saying. Yeah, for That's sure. light for CP, for sure. For sure, yeah. That's yeah. light for CP. And, bro, what's so crazy about it is I was watching the Pacers-Lakers game last week, and there was at one point during the free throw where LeBron and Anthony Davis pulled the ref to the side and talked to him for like 15 seconds and held the ball. I said, this is the craziest shit ever. I don't want to see no more bullshit texts, bro. If niggas can do that, I grant it, it's LeBron. I know he can do whatever he wants to. That's a fact. But... That shit is crazy. The way they pick and choose and they be affecting games, bro, I be understanding why niggas be hot. Nah, for sure. Yeah. But Kelly O'Brien, get well soon because yeah. I know that check is that fine. about to have a little minus next to it. Yeah, that fine going to be tough. I wonder, damn, I want, does that pre-tax too? Shit, I don't remember. I ain't never looked. Yeah, you get to me of them yeah. texts. I only had probably like 10 in my whole career. That ain't bad. Mike Conley ain't never had a tech. Can y'all believe that? He should have okay. got one. He's never had a tech. Okay. I could good, never believe that. He's a good dude. Definitely. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when you realize it's, that they ain't changing the calls, like, yeah. what am I arguing for? It's, yeah. it's A.C. Green, Mike Conley. 
Give me he Mike O'Brien's seat, bro. That's for sure. Mike got kids, bro. Oh, you talking about the nigga hooping off the court? Uh, I'm talking bro. about in the lines. Uh, uh, on the lines. Two we, top tier. It's niggas, def- bro. Mike yeah. Conley's definitely Look the nicest player. AC said you ain't getting no bitches. <laughs> AC's, AC's a liar. <laughs> I see they get no <laughs> He definitely taps on him. He's lying, bro. That's what they Him said. and Tim Tebow liars, bro. When Tim you, Tebow said he was in Florida, he was cracking nothing, you were a liar. Bro, he probably couldn't, bro. He was so famous, so bro. So famous, some, bro. If someone was walking towards his room, bro, it's probably the whole campus knew, bro. But he, he said because he was a Christian. That's why. I, mean, I know the Lord is too. cool, but he can't, like... Like Jeff said, it's hard for him to... Even pick one, bro. Yeah, bro. He probably you don't know, bro. He's gonna be all over the campus, bro. His is more believable than AC Green. Really? I, I'll, I'll take it. Like AC, bro. He had a jury curl. He still got a jury curl, so I believe. Wait, that. still? Yeah, oh, that's crazy. It's like a little. I ain't bro. know he's still alive. <laughs> Why are you always trying to kill niggas? No, I really, I just genuinely. <laughs> but I'm thinking of well, Al Green's still alive too. Shit, barely. Shout out to the Green lineage. Al Green's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't did a tribute for him or nothing. Fact check that, Mike. Yeah, I don't Al, think Al Green alive, bro. Don't, don't kill Al, bro. Shout bro. To Al. They had him on a BT Warriors. Kill AC for Al. I was actually looking, because I read some other day, Mike Conley did get a tape, but they overturned it. My bad. As they should have. Al Green, bro. If, what was the question? I think Al Green, is he still alive? I think it's Al Green, 1937, and then uh, just the minus. Uh, his age is 77 years. He's still alive. Know, yeah. Where's Al Green at? They ain't did a tribute for him, my nigga. That's crazy. Shout out to the grits. What is BT doing? BT Ooh. still exists. Tyler Perry running shit. Oh, we ain't get that tribute. Yeah, Tyler Perry bring the Bulldogs back. Huh? huh? He just has thyroid cancer. <clears throat> oh, oh damn. damn. Prayers up for Al Green. Oh, for sure, yeah. Prayers up for Al Green. Respect to the legends. Respect to the legends. This nigga, man. <laughs> well, he tried to kill him. <laughs> Prayers up for Al, man. Prayers I didn't know he was still yeah, alive, too man. Soon, but he really need to get a... BT, uh, Lifetime Achievement yeah, Award. God yeah, before damn. it's too late. June on the way. He might not make it. What we got next? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why he asked me to transition that for that? What's wrong with this nigga? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah, bro. Too. That's the next BT award. <laughs> <laughs> it's June, bro. Hey, you know what I was thinking about the other day? I can't wait till the, like, the rappers who are close to our age that we grew up on. Like, I can't wait till Chief Heap gets a lifetime achievement award. <laughs> it's going to be fire. <laughs> he just killed Rolling Loud, too. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to CK. No Cat McClaw. The real CK. No Cat McClaw either. <laughs> <laughs> Same initials, apparently. <laughs> I'll try to keep it together, though. <laughs> oh shit! I'm trying to keep it good, bro. Chief <laughs> Keep a legend, though, for sure. Chief Keep a legend. All right, coach. I gotta, you gotta, I gotta ask you this. <laughs> but I'm trying to get away from you. I can't stop that punch. <laughs> right. Oh man, um, a kid didn't make the baseball team, so his parents decided to get an airplane and put. Baseball team is daddy ball. I guess the dad's the head coach of the team. Yeah. Around where they were actually playing out around the high school. If you cut one of your kids, <laughs> how would you feel if they pulled up back to the I school? I swear to God, put them back on the team. Because <laughs> we need your donations. <laughs> Ain't sure. no way you got a plane. <laughs> we need donations, bro. For sure. You niggas got these resources. What? <laughs> Nigga, your dad got a plane for that? Uh, hold on. You, you welcome here, bro. We need your donations, bro. Why didn't they use that money to make their kid better? <laughs> why, did, why didn't they tap me into them lessons, man? man. <laughs> Pops be trying to live them dreams to his kids. Man, oh, God. You got to be pissed as fuck the pop plane and have that bitch fly around. It's probably bro. his shit, though. He it probably, probably is his feeling. Play. But you are pissed, bro. Yeah. You know how much time that you have to be mad to consistently go through with that plan? Because he had to either do it himself you or call to, somebody, you organize to, it. You had to write the check <clears throat> yeah. and say, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> they playing and daddy ball. Coach. No, nah, that's good. I mean, Carmel, that makes sense, though. I ain't even surprised. All the shit that happened at that damn school yeah. over yeah, the years. That is mild. Yeah, that is definitely mild. They definitely don't believe in DEI. <laughs> yeah. But. That is the white lean on me. <laughs> For sure. Nah. He said the white lean on me? Yes, Carmel ain't the white lean on Dallas me. Dallas yeah, said the white lean on me. Out of white school. They didn't really like. It's either Cathedral or Carmel, bro. Cathedral for sure. Cathedral for sure. Carmel was like Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, the kids are yeah. on drugs at Cathedral. Shout out to. 
but it's a smaller. I give you that because it's more kids to go I to the cathedral. I saved myself. The cathedral. Mm-hmm. Bradley, Bradley was my nigga, man. He, yeah. he told us about cathedral. Yeah, that's Jones where Bradley. Bradley hit the Coca Cathedral. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got to adjust that, my nigga, man. I'm you got to that, bro. I'm I'm he still works in the school system. Nah, yeah. Bro, 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 he still it. works in the school system. I tell you. Think back. You can shot me out here now. Brad could have been anybody. You put the... You feel me? You put the ice on the cake. My fault, my fault. Bleak that out. Bleak that out, bro. Luis! Bleak that out, cuz... Bleak his last name out. I was like, don't do that to my best, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, be yeah. here killing niggas, getting yeah, niggas out yeah, of their yeah. job. He ain't never did nothing wrong in his oh. life, bro. Cathedral legend, bro. Besides that one time when you had... Oh. No, I'm just... <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> see team pool parties bring people together. <laughs> I heard those was crazy. My pool I've parties. Never been. That's what we brought. Yeah. I know. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. That's pool parties so legendary. We brought a family together. Literally oh. a family. They made babies and everything. They made a baby. And brought they about to get married. Get married. That's, Mary, crazy. that's crazy at my pool party. Damn. It wasn't that's no D funny. vibes though. It was just like straight. <laughs> it was consent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, but we didn't see any NDAs on the table. We walked in. <laughs> It should have been. They really should have been at that party. <laughs> what the fuck? Happened? Like, I ain't gonna lie. That pool party was so crazy. They broke my pool. What I woke it? up. I ain't never seen so many red cups in a pool. It had to be like four, at least 4,000 red cups in a pool. Whole pool was full of red cups. Said you disrespectful bastards. <laughs> I'm never having another pool party. The real Project X. Yeah, on oh God. Legendary night. We woke up. All type of shit was broke. You know me, I don't know how to let the party in. I done invited people to the 520. Did you have a party party after? Nigga, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. That's that shit you be doing oh. when you do your good fucking photo shoots. No, I just heard it was a long party. Uh, I was, I was like, 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 like Sierra, party what's party? a party party? <laughs> <laughs> Keep <laughs> back. <laughs> We had a 520 party after the pool party. I don't know what the fuck a party party is. That shit sound a little suspicious. Hey, my favorite thing about all this shit is that 50 Cent every day is putting the post up. He's, I told y'all niggas. Anytime somebody put double or whatever the word is, I'm not I'm not there. Yeah, that's, that's a nigga. Nasty like, we about ass. to have a time time. What the fuck that mean? 50 Cent said he gonna pay whatever for them tapes, nigga. <laughs> Where them tapes at? He said, I got one. <laughs> the real doc is on the way. Man, that nigga 50 is crazy. 50 has, like, he has no filter. I'll fuck with that, bro. Like, your baby moms, bro. Nigga's nuts, bro. And what's crazy about it is, everything that he's done has been so successful, but he's done it away from everybody else, yeah. so nobody can really fuck up his bag. For nah. Sure. He's the first DJ academic. Yeah. For and sure. he always tell the like he tell you what niggas is on years before. Yeah. Like, he got interviews like, nah, did he try to take me shopping? I nah, did he? And niggas cake? brushed over that Breakfast yeah, Club interview. Yeah. <laughs> His drink champs is legendary. He oh, out of God. pocket for the shit he said about Jay Z though. Well, I ain't know. Yeah, no Jay Z slender still exists. No, no, no. Nah. He, he modeled himself after the gay painter. I heard about that. <laughs> but listen. Listen, hey, on. man, we're not going to disrespect <laughs> Hov. No Hov's left. No Hov's yeah, got on the head because of Hov. Come on. No Hov's no, left. No, hey, we don't do that. The allegations come out about Hov. I don't believe it. No, I need proof. No. All the <laughs> what, 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 what <laughs> Dubby saying? <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Protect Hov at all costs. Damn, yeah. Must. Come on. Speaking Never. of Hov, Beyonce making the country uh, album. It's about to drop soon. It's going to go platinum. On platinum, on platinum yeah, to diamond. Up. We about to see all these cowboy hats for the next year. I already seen them stinky ass silver boots. Mm. Damn. I mean, the probate boots. My wife boots smell good, but everybody else oh, look like they stink. What well, love getting them cool points, don't it? Don't yeah, what? Yeah. And what? <laughs> yeah, I play Mario Kart. <laughs> 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 you know what? That boy ran over all the time. Sonic, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Sonic, nigga, I get out of the corner. Going straight. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, somebody edited this young photo and put him fine with the Sonic Ring phone out. I said, hey, man, y'all disrespectful as fuck. <laughs> Don't disrespect me. I gotta see the video, bro. Hell no. He wasn't even know that. My boy was just trying to keep the peace, bro. Man, I gotta see that shit, bro. But the crazy shit was, uh, y'all see when Nate Robinson and uh, Mike Beasley was talking? Oh, I thought you were about to say Jake Paul. I was like, man, nigga, nah, get off that. So, 
<laughs> Mike Beasley. I mean, uh, Mike Beasley was basically saying like LeBron the greatest. And then Robinson was like, nah, nigga, like Jordan's the best ever. Like, why would you ever say that? Stay off that shit. And Mike Beasley was like, I ain't, I ain't say nothing when you got your ass knocked. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I was like, damn, I fuck with Nate Robinson. But niggas gonna be on that with him forever because of that, man. <laughs> man, Mike Beasley the wrong nigga to play with, bro. Probably minding his own business, for real. Like, uh, I fuck with Bees, bro. Yeah, we I'll, definitely need Bees on this motherfucker. Bees on the show. For sure. Man, clown with us, man. Damn. But I fucked with it because he was talking about how good Batman and Bio was. And he was just like, people don't know, like, that nigga really, really cold. Like, he don't get to showcase enough. And I'm like, yeah, they're really good. Like, I loved how he bigged up B.I. Hell yeah. Like, oh, he talked about Brandon Ingram? Yeah, he said you, he was bro. really like... He's one of the ones, bro. He at just, 16, he was like, he was two favorite players in the league is Jason Tatum. He gonna put Jason Tatum over B.I., but he like, nah, B.I. got like a Kobe mentality. Like, he uh, a killer for real. That's, that's I so, guess yeah. me and him on the same path. Yeah. I told you it was JT and B.I., they like... Yeah, he definitely spoke high on them for sure. Yeah. In another world where they didn't get LeBron, the Lakers had a lot of young pieces that turned out to be, like, really fucking good. Like, Lonzo career probably would have went different. For sure. Lonzo career been different. He ain't wearing them <clears throat> fucking the shoes. twos Hey, man. You wait. still ain't got your save. Man, I... What? I LeVar, I swear to God. <laughs> well, I, I, bought some. Fucking, I bought I spent $550 on some Z-02s. Where the fuck them ball shoes was? Yeah. I ain't never received mine. <laughs> Thank I God remember you told me you bought them hoes. I was like, yeah, I'm going to support my mans, bro. He seemed like he going to be all right. Man. Yeah. Like I a nigga waiting on his mind. daddy to pull up. Nigga, bro. send me some Pumas <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> Tell little bro, send me some Pumas or something. I'll take them. <laughs> ain't nothing like when your daddy say he coming in the AK. <laughs> Pause, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, yo. No, no. <laughs> Hey, no Diddy. <laughs> no Nick that night, bro. That's crazy. Hey. Nick at night, Disney. <laughs> All that shit. <laughs> when you said wait the other day, I just think about when uh, Will Smith's daddy was with to tell Philip, like, yeah, I'm about to go get this money. Fuck Will. <laughs> what did <he> say? <laughs> hey, and I just watched that movie when uh, Will Smith's trying to sell that stupid ass thing he was walking around with. I just Soon thought about happens. our... Yeah, bro. He had I, no I thought about our that. conversation. I'm like, niggas just be saying anything, bro. He ain't have no motion. You see his swag the whole movie? Yeah. Ass it. What other movie that nigga didn't have no hoes, bro? That was just out, here, out bad, bro. Damn. Uh, or a TV show y'all can think of. Y'all think Brumman had some hoes? Bro man For had sure. Hoes. Bro man, he was sliding the windows. He was the first <clears throat> Diddy. Oh, wow. We ain't going to put that on his legacy. <laughs> oh, my fuck. Man, bro man wasn't cranking up. He bro. was taking that food back to his girl, of course. Nah, bro. bro he ain't had no money. What bro, about... Uh, bro nigga was sliding in windows, bro. <laughs> this nigga's a thief, bro. What are we talking about? <laughs> but he was posting up in nigga's he house. got too. no hoes, bro. That nigga had Martin's sweater on one time, bro. <laughs> It's a little itchy. Yeah, a little itch. <laughs> Motherfucker was tight to the bitch. Who had more hoes? Motherfucker, bro, man, or Waldo? Waldo had no hoes. Bro. Nah, bro, man. Waldo did date a girl, though. Life's <laughs> yeah, she was tough, too. Waldo See? did have a little tough See? one. But I feel like she got, off, she got off the bus before we did. <laughs> nah, nigga, she had her own bus. Oh, it was my little. bad. She was, <laughs> she had she was just as bad as white. was white. <laughs> Some schools is yellow and tiny. Same. Oh my no, god! No, it's not the athletic department. <laughs> What's going on in basketball? Nah, who else didn't have no hoes like that? <laughs> on TV shows, oh, we can go through. Braxton uh, had Braxton had a girl on uh, Jamie Foxx. She was the white UPS girl for sure. Yeah, he backed his little. He backed girl with a job. Respect it. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else was lame on TV show? Oh, uh, oh shit! On the oh, way, boy, brothers. Fi- uh, what's her name? Fresh never Prince had no never had no hoes. Oh, Carlson? Carlson didn't have no hoes, bro. Nah, you remember Carlson, Bad Will, girl, on the episode. <clears throat> on accident, bro. That was for the nah, script. Nah, she was feeling with him. Yeah, Paul, she was fucking with his motion. Like, hey, I like him better than I like you, and Will was hating. Yeah, Will was hating. He was hating. But Carlson also tried to cuff Shorty with had the baby already. Yeah, he and he was... ain't never hit. <laughs> <laughs> he was a father to step up. He never smacked. He ain't talking about. I might be a dad. <laughs> Ah. What a fucking loser for sure. He's definitely a loser. He, he, just for that bitch ass shit, he's number one. Father and a child before you try to have And you ain't getting none of that pregnant coochie. You out of pocket. That's hey, some of the best shit on earth. He hit the old lady. Uh, you remember that, that night he hit the old lady? 
the he, went to her, he went to the room with her, hit the old oh, lady. Oh, yeah, 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 I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. 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 he was in love. <laughs> nah, she like, she like move fact. around, boy. <laughs> I do this every week, then, boy. <laughs> Broke his little heart. Man, move around. <laughs> he was getting treated bad. <laughs> Who else got hey, treated bad? Who, yeah, who else got treated bad, man? Uh, that nigga Dupree from the uh, Wayne's Brothers. Ooh, Dupree ain't getting no <laughs> Dupree didn't What get was that nigga <laughs> name on Juice, nigga? Uh, <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Phil, a bitch ass used to call me that nigga yeah, all the time. Uh, <laughs> what was it, Chuck? Nah, what was it? What was that nigga name? My, uh, I'm shitty. I can't remember that nigga. Hey, name I don't want to get typecast a nigga who ain't got no motion. That's crazy. At least in one of my movies, I got to have what some What was action, his bro. name on Juice, man? I cannot think of that nigga name. That nigga was a Philip poop. called me that nigga all the time. That nigga was making that motherfucking breakfast and put a 40 in that Because <laughs> that's who, that's who uh, motherfucking Principal Clark was talking to and leaning on me yeah, at the top of the... Yeah, you smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> you smoke crack, don't you? Damn, who else? Who was, who was on Moesha? Uh, Hakeem... Hakeem got hoes. Hakeem got action. He yeah. got respect. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He, did. Ray J, he just went about the nastiest way. Yeah. Miles. I ain't saying nothing about Miles. I seen him. I was like, Steel. 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 Yeah, yeah Steel. Steel. You know who had the hoes on Moesha? Frank Mitchell. <laughs> oh, God. He kept a baby by a woman other than D. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. the daddy from Smart Guy. He struggled with the hoes. Nah, he had action. Nah, They was bro. hating was on sleep, the kids. Bro. was hating on him. Bro, he was a single father with two kids, bro. He was getting hated yeah, on, bro. Yeah, he was getting hated household, on, bro. <laughs> he had three kids. Single father with three tough, kids. He was Damn, smacking I'm shit. out of pocket. I disrespected it. Three kids? Yeah. yeah. It might his, his criteria might have been slim. Yeah, man, they weren't fucking with him. Oh, Mo wasn't getting no hoes either. Oh. Uh, My own smart guy? Nah, yeah. he, had, he had a couple girls. One time he had one that didn't talk when they was making a band. See, it was... <laughs> There, why? I'm gonna stop disrespecting me. He got a quiet woman. He might have won. See, listen, it's DJ always DJ. It's, it's TFU. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna get a get the hoes, bro. I ain't going, bro. He had he been. Nah, had he got, what what about Cosby? Who was on the? Oh, oh boy, that was rare. He was still lame though. He didn't get the hoes. Uh, married to the daughter. Yeah, light right. skinned nigga yeah, with the curl. The that yeah. they hey, found man. in the grocery store that they was yeah, disrespecting. Yeah, man, yeah. for no, and they got him on power. No, nah, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Nigga, yeah, Shout out to you, but you didn't get no bitches 50, in the nineties. Fifty, that was real. Yeah, you didn't get no hoes in the nineties. Yeah, he he did not get a crack. Oh, he probably got hoes in the nineties though. This nigga was light skinned with a jury curl. Not on that show. Oh yeah, he didn't get no hoes. He took a break. Oh, Marlon ain't getting no hoes on the Wayne's brothers. Facts. Bro. Yeah. Good call. Nah, that nigga was hundred percent. He's messing with a blow up dog, bro. He was the first nigga <laughs> to have a blow up dog. That's one of the craziest shows that don't get enough credit. But the Wayne's Bros is fucking crazy. DJ loves that show. Is fu- show. They no, be wildin', bro. My favorite DJ episode, bro, is where that nigga. Where they they took all the episodes from Martin. Well, you remember he had to go to the coat. Uh, he had that motherfucking curl right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he took that episode from Martin. But like, that shit was funny as fuck on the Waze Brothers, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that nigga was praying to a... Uh, <laughs> praying to a dog. <laughs> bro, that show... Pops makes that show 10 times funnier, but they was just on that bitch wild, and that's oh, why God. that show was funny. Yeah. Oh, God. Joey bro. on Full House didn't get no hoes either. Come on. Bro. What? No. Joey, no. The, the funny the, one? Yeah, he didn't get no hoes. He got some, he's a comedian. He got some hoes. Bro, looking at yeah, how bro. much it costs to live in San Francisco, I understand why he didn't have no hoes. Oh, God, bro. We had a one. They all live in that house. That was before San Fran good, turned up, too. That's the reason they all live in that house. Yeah. Goddamn right. That's before Jason Collins fell down that motherfucker, that hill. Nope. Y'all ready? <laughs> A new top. <laughs> That's how Jason Collins was rolling. Oh, my fault. Anything else, man? <laughs> what else happened in the world, man? I'm having a oh, good time, man. Oh, roll up ass nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen. listen. <laughs> I'm having a good time, man. I don't know what you talking about. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Hey, yeah, man. Why you put random... I just, I'm just trying to move on. <laughs> Had to watch your head. Getting ready to bite some chicken. I don't know. <laughs> Be here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We understand by the time y'all see this, you know, it already happened. But the Easter meals, like, I ain't seen nobody in the group chat. Ain't nobody been talking about the motion. Ain't nobody got no recipes. Like, is, is cooking for holidays dead in the black community? Like, uh, what's going on? For sure. But not, not so much, like, on my wife's side. No, they still throw down. They mm. still gonna have them. You know what I mean? We well, was in Atlanta, but... I know they feel me. I know they killed it for sure for Easter. For sure. What, what's the like what's Thanksgiving the re- style? 
Mm. Hey, do your wife, woman, or whoever you dating got to be able to cook? Or it's like, nah. That's that, for me, or that's a requirement. Mm. Her hands are silly. For sure. On and off the court. You hear me? <laughs> Respects. The real, the real chef. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, shawty, hey, we not gonna let him do that over here, man. Yeah, I'm deep that, bro. The real chef. <laughs> That's your camera right there. Go ahead. <laughs> is, that, is, is that a requirement for you? It's a luxury, and I'm blessed for sure. It's a luxury. My okay. wife can cook. But, like, we got a new thing we're going to do. We got our new YouTube channel coming out. Check us out. P and T. <laughs> nah, that ain't what it's called, but I don't know what it's going to be called. But she P about to make... that was a crazy strip club back in the day. PTs. <laughs> PTs. <laughs> that was crazy. And they had them in there. <laughs> don't worry. Every race. They will be part of the YouTube channel. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> see, we're going to be trying foods. She's going to start making, like, maybe try some different foods. Y'all know I eat the same shit every day. I was going to say, you going to be trying food? Yeah, she said, our first dish going to be a Honduran food. My wife's Honduran. She like, I'm... Um, you know, we're going to go try some of our food, so. No, that's hard. We're going to see if I can survive. That's hard. Hey. Nah, but that the, the food, for real, overall, seriously, I just, I don't think it's a thing no more. I don't think people really care about Thanksgiving like that no more. Mm. That family dynamic, bro, it kind of, niggas used to have Christmas breakfast. Yeah. You fuck with your, you feel me, everybody. We still got that, though. Then you, but I'm saying, then you go fuck with your family in the evening, the mm. turned up cousins. And y'all have a dinner, too. Yeah. I don't think that's really a thing in the whole Indianapolis community. I used to go over my nigga's house because I knew his people was cooking type shit. Bro, that's what fucked me up. <clears throat> Normally, I got a couple homies that, that's damn near like brothers. It's like, I can always slide to Mom Duke's house, Grandma crib. It's like, damn, everybody on PTO on vacation on the damn. holidays now? Like, damn. That's crazy. I said it because fam my family still do that. We had breakfast at my crib. Then we go to my mom's house for, like, the dinner Turn shit, up shit. Yeah. yeah, drink, play the game. And that's cards. but it's just rare. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, the fact y'all keep that going is definitely solid. But yeah. shit, my family big, bro. Motherfucker, that shit ain't gonna stop. I think COVID yeah. slowed it down. I think after COVID, like people started. That's true. That's probably true. Shit, we were mean, still out COVID. Yeah. COVID Christmas was still a goddamn thing. Yeah, I was gonna say COVID Christmas was an excuse to keep people in white family. We ain't fuck with that much away. We're I like, was oh, still yeah, having it. parties, bro. <laughs> nah, I, I ended COVID. I ended the party scene. Oh, he definitely did. Yeah. I had a nigga. I had a making COVID niggas party. get checked. And this nigga, he the one passing around that motherfucker. <laughs> I had a COVID party and had COVID. <laughs> No COVID party, nigga. Pull up to the crib, nigga. Check bring some your... motherfuckers. Did y'all get checked? Nigga, nigga, fuck you. Bring your, bring your motherfucker. Bring your motherfucking bring your slip. slip, nigga. <laughs> nigga was, I'm at the door checking niggas <laughs> off. Yep. Nigga woke up the next morning, can't taste shit. That is fucking, crazy, motherfucker bro. Motherfucker snuck in there with that motherfucker. I was gonna say, hey, shout out to niggas who old. Whoever the whole ass nigga that snuck in there with that bitch, he was a weak ass. So I was out for two. Three weeks with that shit. Shout out to Jamar, man. <laughs> Yo, that no, it was one of them niggas. <laughs> hey, we had a cabbage trip, and we was like, hey, everybody got to get tested. Make sure you have yourself. <laughs> we called niggas the next week. Hey, man, I see this is a screenshot of this other nigga test. Y'all ain't even crop this bitch out. Y'all out here bullshitting, man. Nah, them niggas is foul for that. Y'all playing with my health, bro. Hey. Puff faking on the COVID test is insane, bro. Nuts, bro. I had a nigga. I, bro, I had that old personal test. I woke up that morning. I looked at I said, I can't taste nothing. I called the Hawks. I can't taste nothing. They was like, you probably got COVID. I, they sent me a home test. That motherfucker was with flying colors. Boy, I was out cold. I was sick. Damn. I was hurt, too. Fuck COVID. <laughs> hey, there was a one time in the pandemic. I know it was a long time ago. But that COVID test and that pregnancy test was the same amount of scary for people, bro. For sure. Man, facts, bro. For sure. Once upon a time, that was an equal threat. Nigga, when you told the motherfucker you had COVID, motherfucker wouldn't even talk to you. My, I told my mama I had COVID, bro. She brought me some food, bro. On my my, my driveway, long as shit. <laughs> she left the fucking food at my driveway. At the end of that month? <laughs> On Zionsville? It's, it's outside. I said, damn. She like, I ain't even coming to the door. Wow. No, that motherfucker is linked. Man, you know Pause. how far my motherfucking driveway was? That motherfucker was far. Uh, it was cold by the time you got back Bro, home. Damn. That driveway damn, was Damn, man. See, you could have left that motherfucker on the door. Nah, she was like, I'm just going to drop it off out here. She was so scared of the it's cold. It's in the air. Damn. Yeah, she was like, your door, you might open it while I'm right there. I don't. I'm going to wait till you leave. <laughs> I feel so bad. I love P. She came over anyway. I like, I cope. She's like, I don't care. She'll die about you. Real nigga. Yeah. 
Uh, you know what's up, R.I.P. Really... <laughs> you, you almost had intentional love. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. I gotta put you on the T-shirt, please. Get well soon on the... <laughs> she ain't give a fuck. She was like... I was like, man, I got COVID, man. You can't come over. She was like, nigga. COVID is fake. Damn. She came over that motherfucker and never got that bitch. Swear to God. Yeah, I never had... Thank God. But I don't... You know, they never... I caught it before it was like super announced in March. So I went to All Star Weekend and I came back home and nigga, I was in the gulag, nigga, for about a week. I said, what the fuck is wrong with me? Mm. And I seen the alert. I was like, damn, this is real. And that shit, lockdown happened a day after my 30th birthday. I had the weakest 30th birthday. Uh, the world man. fucking closed. That's when niggas was going to the grocery store buying all toilet paper and shit. That was the craziest shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad time. COVID was a bad time. It was like a good and bad time. Like, if you was doing social media shit, boy, you lit from COVID. If sure. this motherfucker would have started in COVID, in COVID, we'd be up through there, bro. bro what? Hey, and what people forget, I know Tory Lanez in jail, but what Tory Lanez did during COVID? Greatest shit ever, bro. Greatest yeah. shit ever, With bro. With the verses shit. The verses, bro. It was lit. Everybody was at home, disposable income, and drinking every fucking day. Niggas was turned. It's niggas down to tequila bottles on a random Wednesday afternoon because niggas can't go nowhere. Facts. And bro. then uh, here come the PPP. <clears throat> it was some good times back then, bro. Damn, fuck them times, bro. I need to go outside, bro. Well, if Club Five Twenty would have been open then, that PPP Ooh. loan would have been busted. If I would have had, oh, all day. we, <laughs> <laughs> boy, don't lock down again. Nah. <laughs> Y'all won't get another pot on us, nigga. That would have been nuts. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's crazy. Hey, but I know we're going to get up out of here. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. We'll be back next week. Club 520.